Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about side chaining inside Cubase Elements 10. The Cubase full version or the pro version already come with side chaining feature, but the Cubase Element version does not come with inbuilt side chaining facility so it is very important to achieve side chaining inside the uh, cubase element if you cannot afford the pro version uh, this side chaining is very important in music production especially if you need to allocate more room for your kick inside your entire mix so here i have um, three tracks in my mm, cubase project so this one is a pad section so let's have a listen to uh, this pad section And here I have a kick uh, actually this is a, a drum track that I have here so let's listen to the drum track yeah there's another special track over here this is a MIDI track I call it the trigger track because we are going to control the gain of this pad element where my kick is hitting to the pad section we need to insert a special effect so I already inserted it which is the MIDI gate usually the Cubase Element 10 version come with um, this MIDI gate plugin, but I'm not sure whether it comes with previous versions, but it's sure that this one comes with Cubase Elements 10 version. So I think you are good to go if you have this MIDI uh, gate plugin inside your uh, digital audio workstation. So I have inserted that one into the channel, into my channel uh, effects inserts. And then I have to do something at my trigger track. This is a MIDI track. And here I have to set the output of my uh, MIDI track. And I have to point it to this MIDI gate plugin. We can see as a MIDI channel over here. So we can send that to this MIDI channel. Um, so the trigger will be sent to the MIDI gate plugin. The MIDI gate plugin is already inserted in the, uh, the pad audio track. Now we have to create a trigger pattern over here. So for that we have to draw a new pattern like this and then we can double click and then we can open it here point our cursor like this so then we can give any MIDI note as my trigger every time I see my kick here this big thing is the kick whenever I see this one I am going to add a MIDI note like this yeah so I have a MIDI pattern that really follows my kick pattern. What we want is when my kick is not hitting, then I need my pad to come out and to have some gain. Otherwise, my uh, pad sound should be in low gain. I want to drag all the MIDI notes away from the kick. When the MIDI notes are triggered, the gate will be open and sound will be released. When a MIDI note is not triggered, there won't be any sound coming out from the gate. Now we have to have a look at this uh, MIDI gate plugin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this kick track and now I want to check whether my pad sound is ducking and boosting uh, when this MIDI triggers are triggered. Yeah, actually we can hear now. Uh, the pad has this side chaining, uh, this gain reduction uh, whenever the trigger is not hitting. Okay, uh, now there are a couple of um, controls over here in this MIDI gate plugin. You can use this one to achieve uh, different uh, variations. So you can dial these knobs into your test. See, now this one will give us sort of a smooth transition. So, and if it is like this, the, the stops will be like very evident and very jagged sort of. And you can have this uh, different attack levels and the hold and release so now with the movement the movement is like very smooth mm. yeah this one is totally up to you to decide what you want to do uh, with the uh, with the sound that you're going to achieve mm. and this is without uh, the side chaining and this is with side chaining and this is with kick now this one has like a very nice movement into the sound so it is very pleasing to our ears mm, that is what is uh, side chaining is all about and now you know how to do it in Cubase Elements 10